Commerce the country is facing huge problems. The health system is in a crisis. Comrades, today I hear that man in the regional hospital was offering only emergency services. And this is the regional hospital. This is when all else feels in the parish of Manchester, in the parish of Clarida, in the parish of St. Elizabeth, Mandela Regional is where everybody is sent. And yet, even even South Centre and South Chilam, and yet the hospital was struggling today. And I am not going to blame the doctors and the healthcare workers. They have been the champions of this pandemic. They have been the ones on the front lines every day. They are not. They were promised all sorts of extra monies. Hardship pay, high risk pay in the COVID-19 wards and all those who were exposed to them. They were promised gratuities. They were promised contracts not less than two to three years. Instead, what we have today, the 1st of July, in the middle of a pandemic, is that they have sent home 140 doctors in a country that's in a health crisis. is what we've been talking about that is happening in this country for many years. They have reversed many of the games that Michael Manley fought for in the 70s. The rights of workers, maternity leave with pay, sick leave, vacation leave, equal pay for women, all of that legislation of the 70s, they're using contract as a ruse, as a pretense to get around dealing with employers the way the law says. Dealing with employees right, the way the law says it must be done. It happened with the security guards. It happened with the retail workers. It happened with the hotel workers. And now today, not private sector, but government is doing the same thing to the doctors in this country. 